Hello guys, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club. How you guys been doing today? And I ran into kind of a, um, a weird problem that I had um, today that I just figured out how to fix, which there is a video. Um, I was getting an error message. Um, I can find it for you. I was getting the, uh, DLL fix for, uh, I was getting the DLL fix, I was getting the NFVCP120 or the DLL missing, um, file, and what that mostly means, when you get that missing file and you can't launch it, um, what that kind of means is, you kind of need to download uh, you know kind of need to download um, a, a, another program for that to work it's called virtual c++ uh, packages for visual studio um, because some program requires you to uh, some program requires you to have a uh, visual C++ application on your download on your computer to make it run. Which I have gotten here. So, what you can do is you can go to how to fix this situation. You can go to Google. You can go to virtual C++ download. Okay. Um, go to Microsoft. Of course, go to Microsoft. Once you go here, you're going to want to download this. Click on download. And whatever version of the uh, OBS studio you're using, I'm using 64 bit. Click on that. Click next. And once you click next, it will down your bottom. Open it up. Follow instructions. And once you install the instructions, this bad boy should work. So if you are getting your <coughs> it, the error message of the MIS tool message and you can't open up a program and it mostly means that you're missing a application on your computer that you can get through Microsoft through um, Visual C++. Um, some program uses Visual C++ with OBS stuff use it. Um, so I just wanted to make that video of, for you of if you can't get OBS working and it's getting error, how to fix it is by downloading um, DLLs and it's downloading the visual C++ uh, from Microsoft and that will, be, that will enable you to get it up and running and fixing. Um, a lot of different videos on this topic, some of them are helpful, some of them are not. Um, I think this guy was the most helpful easy solution um, because remember some programs on your computer needs to have the C++ the virtual C++ um, so anyway thank you guys for watching my video and this is Gavin from Gavin Club and I will see you guys in the next video peace out